How's everyone doing today? This is Zach Allen, and uh, we are going to do a short game analysis today of uh, two different short game shots. Uh, one is a sand shot, and uh, one is your basic pitch shot. Uh, just so you know, you know the differences between a chip and a pitch. A chip is a low flying shot with more roll, and a pitch is a slightly higher trajectory shot with less roll. Um, and then also, like we said, we've got the uh, the, the sand technique, and uh, it's the same guy here. This is David Toms. He's got one of the best short games on tour, and he's hitting the ball roughly the same distance. Uh, you notice though, I mean, he's definitely taking a bigger swing with the sand wedge because we actually hit the sand in a bunker. Uh, the ball does not go as far as it would from the grass. So, you know, you always want to remember that, that you've got to take a little harder swing in the sand to get the ball to go the same distance. But just, you know, letting you kind of take a look at these, running them through in slow motion, you get a feel for some of the differences. Uh, the, the big thing that I would see uh, to, to start off is how different the setups are. And uh, that's one thing that um, a lot of my students struggle with is just changing the setup enough to fit the shot that they are playing. Um, and by that I mean, um, you notice his feet are probably only two inches apart with the pitch shot, and his sand wedge is uh, the the shot out of the sand is probably about the uh, width of his driver. So that's a big difference in in the stance width between those two shots. Um, just taking it back to the setup position here, this is probably where you're going to really get uh, the most out of this analysis, is if you can if you get a, a feel for how different these setups are. So the first line I'm drawing is right on the top of the club head, and you see a huge difference in the angle of the shaft. One, we've got the shaft angled forward with the face slightly open, that's the pitch, okay, over here on the right, and then out of the sand, we've got the club face more open with the shaft leaning back. Uh, what that does, that exposes the most bounce. The bounce is the back edge of the club, and that is so important in hitting good sand shots is really letting that, that, that bounce slide and skim under the ball and through. Um, but one thing to note, you use the bounce on the pitch shot too, we just don't quite expose as much of that bounce. And that's all set up by that shaft angle out of dress, getting that set right. Uh, the other thing to note is um, the ball position is forward for the bunker shot um, off his left heel, where the ball position for the sand shot is back, back by his, uh, probably by his big right toe. I'm going to draw a couple lines here over his swing center too, just so you really get a feel for how much he's in front of the ball on one swing, and on the other swing he's got his swing centers behind the golf ball. Okay, so that's probably like we said, if you can really get a hold of the differences in setup. I see too many people and everything looks the same. The sand shot setup looks the same, the pitch shot setup looks the same, and really they look the same as their regular sand shot from the fairway, or you know, sand wedge shot from the fairway hitting a full swing and uh, they're actually all played slightly different. Um, but into the rest of this analysis here, I think one thing to take note here is is how much more active his wrists are out of the bunker. Okay, Here he is, he's hitting the same length shot. Both these shots probably went about 20 yards in total distance, but look at how much more active of a wrist cock he has in his backswing with the sand shot. So that really allows him to unhinge his wrist when he goes through the ball. Um, which is a, a really important factor in hitting good sand shots. There's a lot of right hand and right wrist action. You know, you can really take note by this finish position. Look at how much he has actually rehinged the club. Where the sand shot, you know, really uh, not much rehinging of the club at all. He's pretty much got an inline condition there with his uh, his arms and shaft. So you know, just to, to really shows you that it's a pretty wristless swing with the pitch shot and the sand shot is a little different animal. There's a lot of right wrist, right hand action, a lot of hinging of the wrist, a lot of uncocking of the wrist as the club slides slides under and through. You can really see that there in slow motion. I'm going to take that back. Watching the sand shot there, you see that club slide under and through, thumping the sand. Uh, one of the most famous drills for hitting out of the sand is to hit balls with your right hand only because that really encourages a lot of right hand action. Now, as we turn our attention to the pitch shot as we come through, you can see how you know um, the triangle form there by his arms and shaft. Let me draw some lines on that real quick. This triangle here formed at a dress. Some people call it the Y, whatever you'd like to call it there. But um, that really stays intact throughout this entire motion. So that's a characteristic of a characteristic of a good a good pitch swing. You can see even if as he finishes there on the pitch, now the triangle is facing the target there, but it's really still totally intact 
and um, has not changed very much, unlike the sand shot. But uh, like we said, those are probably some of the, the biggest things to focus on as you go from a sand to a pitch shot, you know, is, is watch your setup, right? Make those adjustments so uh, they'll fit the shot that you're trying to execute, whether it be pitching from a nice little tight fairway shot like he's doing here, or trying to hit an explosion shot out of a, out of a bunker. Um, and then from there, as you go into the swing, right, you, you want to make the slight adjustments to, uh, to have the best possible chance of hitting a high, soft sand shot. Um, and, and like we said, the best possible chance of uh, executing a good pitch shot. So give those a try and see if that does not help your short game out a little bit. All right, thank you very much.